temperature crisp at 41, humidity 86. Maybe rain later on. We hope not. Hello, everybody. This is Charlie Jones along with Randy Cross. Randy, both ball clubs are coming over off of big wins last week. The Bills just demolished Washington 38 to 13. And the Philadelphia Eagles, their arch rival Dallas, they downed them by 10, 31 21. Well, you talk about emotional wins, but it's more emotional for Philadelphia. Their big challenge is to rebound from that a big emotional Dallas win. You know, Buffalo's been in this position before. Here's the head coach, Eagles, Ray Rhodes, having an outstanding year. And Marv Levy. <laughs> he gets better like fine wine. Buffalo wins the toss and they will receive. So that means that Gary Anderson is going to kick off for the Philadelphia Eagles. And Eric Moles, number 80, is the deep back on the return for Buffalo. Charlie, around the country today, you're hear a lot of analogies about that Tyson Holyfield fight last night. The Buffalo Bills, though, are a lot like Evander. I mean, they're just an old warrior. They're looking for one more shot at that big brass ring. Just one more shot. Right now, they've got the offense going the way they wanted to. Can it stand up against this defense? And last week played as well as they have played in years. Here is Cole from the two-yard line to the 10, the 15, across the 20, 25, down around the 27-yard line. Nice return. As Jim Kelly will bring out the offense for the Buffalo Bills. He turns for a moment for a comment. And here's that offensive line. Well, the big change here, Corey Lucci starting for Glenn Parker. He's going against the big guy, William Fuller up front. Watch that all day. Three wide receivers, that means K-Gun. It's the K-Gun formation. They'll be in no huddle using a lot of different formations. Hand signals with the crowd already in it. They had too many players. He had to send somebody home. They had 12 on offense. Single back, and it's Thurman Thomas. Nothing is there except the Eagle defense. And here it is. Well, yeah, they're undersized, Charlie. I mean, they are not a very big defense, but they're an attacking, slashing Ray Rhodes defense. So no idle. This is not the K-Gun. They have changed on the opening set, not going with three wide, but going with the no-huddle from the tailback. And the fullback in front is Thurman Thomas. And there's nothing there. So it's going to be third down and still seven to go for Philadelphia, the linebackers in secondary. Well, the rookie farmer at one linebacker, another rookie at free safety, Dawkins. The guys to watch, though, Troy Vincent and Bobby Taylor. Great man coverage guys. Third down and seven, shotgun. Three wide receivers on the set. Kelly has backside pressure. He has hit just as he makes the release. And it was Mike Mamula of Lackawanna, New York. He was all state at high school there, and that is just outside of the city of Buffalo. He's working on John Fina, and this is the kind of matchup that the Eagles want. They have speed rushers in Mamula and William Fuller. 252, Charlie. Not your basic defensive <laughs> line movement. You see right there why Ray Rhodes loves the speed from that end. So Chris Moore will kick it away. Mark Say is a good check. He goes back, takes it at the 16. A little quick step at the 21, and he will return across the 25 to the 26-yard line. 57-yard punt, six-yard return. Tim Tindale got him. And now here is Ty Detmer as he leads the Philadelphia Eagle offense. And that line in front of him for the Eagles. That offensive line is solidified. You're going to see also a lot of Guy McIntyre in the second and fourth quarters, a movement offensive line. Max and receivers. you got to love Ricky Waters, but watch Kevin Turner, a hard-nosed, classic leading fullback blocker. First down, 26-yard line. For the Bills, it was three and out. And Detmer comes out throwing. No swing, right flat, passes complete to Ricky Waters. Waters up the sideline and is out of bounds at the 35-yard line. So he's going to pick up nine. It'll be second down and one, the defense for the Buffalo Bills. Front well, three. The mission, Charlie, is to spread this defense out. Ted Washington's a factor in the middle, but if you spread this defense out, you just saw right there with the linebackers and defensive backs, you can get some mismatches with Ricky Waters on a linebacker. And Buffalo, one of only three teams in the NFL that runs that 3-4. But Philadelphia's now played all three. 
They played Pittsburgh in the preseason. Second down in the yard. Drop. Right on target, but it was dropped by Charlie Garner. We expect to see more of Charlie Garner for the Philadelphia Eagles. Has not played that much. Only 28 rushes. Uh, not that many yards, less than 100. But they haven't split out wide, Charles. Yep. What Ray Rhodes said they were going to do, trying to get a matchup with a safety. In this case, the rookie, Matt Stevens. You saw that arm action. That's a great job of stripping that ball away because Detmer put that ball right where it needed to be. Garner has great, great speed. Third down in the yard. Fryer, the motion man. Here's Waters. And he'll pick up the first down. He's going to leave. Didn't get that much. He needed one. He got three, and that was it. Ricky Waters stopped by Ted Washington first down. You know, this isn't a running back in Ricky Waters, folks. That you're going to see they get great big, huge holes. This offensive line is very efficient, but they're not overpowering. See, they're not killing the Buffalo defense there. They're making cracks. One thing Ricky Waters does as good as anybody in the NFL is he attacks cracks and gets yards. Slot on the right side. Pryor comes across in motion. Split back from the 38. That little swing left side. This one is complete to Waters. Waters again. He's taken out of bounds. At the 48-yard line. That's going to be close to another first down. It was Thomas Smith who took him out. See, Charlie, we're seeing the Philadelphia offense spread out the Buffalo Bills and be very patient. And they're getting the matchups they want. Ricky Waters in the flat against the linebacker. And those linebackers aren't covering as much as they're chasing. Ricky Waters told us that he is at home with a true fullback in front of him. Well, every good tailback, especially if he's any kind of an eye formation, loves having that bruiser in front of him. He has a good one in Kevin Turner. Now he's the remaining back with three wide receiver from first down. Deep over the middle pass, juggle, and caught by Jason Dunn. Dunn, the rookie, taken in the second round. 20 yards on the play. Matt Stevens with the tackle. That is the tenth reception for Dunn, averaging almost 25 yards a reception. Well, part of the deal here, Charlie, is they once again, they split Garner out left. They're spreading out the defense. And the key for getting a guy like Dunn in the draft, little problem with the hands, but he can move down the field. And a tight end, when you get the defense spread out, opens the middle of the field. Ty Detmer is working some magic on the opening drive for the Eagles. Last three plays, all for first down. Back to the ground. It's water. 23-yard line. So he's got five. It'll be second down and five. You know, watch what I was talking about, Charlie, with this offensive line. You're not going to see huge holes. You're going to see plateaus of the defense, kind of like this. And then watch Ricky Waters just wind his way through. See, there's a plateau there, a plateau there. He's sort of running along the plateaus and finding himself some little cracks to explode into. Second and five. important for the Philadelphia offense all year long. The opening drive of the season has given them confidence. They're the best in the NFL. Six of their ten games, they've scored a touchdown. That is huge, and that puts your defense in a great attacking position. The extra point attempt, and it is good as Jerry Anderson sends it through. And the Philadelphia Eagles scoring on their opening drive on top of the Buffalo Bills, 7-0. You, <laughs> you don't give up on ships either. No, I don't either. <laughs> Here's that scoring drive. It took just over three minutes. 74 yards in seven plays. The touchdown, 23 yards. There are four or five, 66 through the year on the back. Charlie, remember, spreading them out using different receivers. It's what Ray Rhodes wanted to do coming into this game. And so far, he and John Gruden, his offensive coordinator, just scripted a beautiful opening drive. 
The ball fell off the tee. It's a bit windy down on the field today. Now the Eagles have worried about hang time on the kickoff. Now the official is going to come in. They may have somebody come and hold it. Is he going to offer to hold it? <laughs> you know, he's going to check it. They haven't. They haven't gotten enough hang time so that the. The coverage has not been that good on, on uh, kickoff return. Remember last week, Herschel Walker brought one back 86 yep. yards against them. The offense scored on their first drive, but they had to do it to get the seven to 7-7. Seven. He'd like it to be in the air, oh, 4.1 or 4.2 seconds, so the cover team can get down. This would take him to the nine-yard line by Eric Moe. Moe's out to 25, up the sideline. This is a good return across the 40 to the 43-yard line. And right, it was Gary Anderson, the kicker, who knocked him down. Now let's go back to the touchdown. Well, what you have to look at is, remember, they're spreading them out. They're using different people. Watch Chris Spielman right here at inside linebacker. Watch the traffic he has to try to negotiate with the receivers on that side. And he's trying to get over to Kevin Turner. He can't get there. That is part of that scripted opening drive, taking advantage of mismatches on that Buffalo defense. Buffalo, second opportunity in offense. First opportunity went three and out. Thurman Thomas. He slides through to the 48-yard line, so he'll pick up five, and it will be second down and five. So Buffalo now has the option to run or pass the defense. Now has to play off of what they do. Yeah, I really think this the whole K-gun thing gets overplayed. Yeah, this is the K-gun formation. There's three wide receivers, but they're doing what they do best. That's run the ball and throw sparingly. And here is reverse, and he shut up. Cutting back inside is Steve Tasker. Tasker played his collegiate ball a long time ago at Northwestern. He's 34 years old. He's been in the league some 12 times, and he can do everything. But well, you remember, one of the things I told you at the beginning was watch the cornerbacks. They're great cover people for Philly. Well, this is the guy here, and Steve Tasker, I think, is probably their best weapon against that. He'll be inside, matched up on a safety and pass cover. Kelly to throw underneath the coverage. Pass is complete. As he comes. No. Fumble, Charlie. Oh, the ball and he is as sure-handed as anyone in the NFL we're going to step aside we'll be back in a moment two hundredths of a second a human eye begins to blink a hummingbird flits its wings once and a sensor in a door frame Tells an airbag in a seat. Matchup he wanted. You got Steve Tasker coming across from the slot, working on a linebacker. James Willis chasing him. Look at him strip that ball, punch it out. The rookie farmer recovers it. Now you're looking at Detmer in this offense on a roll coming at you up seven zip. Starting from their own 45 yard line. Just a little touch pass tip, almost intercepted. He needed to lay it over the double cover. Look at the smile. You got to like this guy. Let's go to New York for an update, Greg. All right, Charlie. The Oilers are rolling early on in New Orleans. Chris Chandler drops the snap, picks it up, finds Chris Sanders coming over the middle, and Sanders goes 42 yards for a touchdown. Just moments ago, Chandler threw a 12-yard touchdown pass to Ronnie Harmon. Just like that, it's a 14-0 Houston lead at New Orleans, Charlie. All right, Greg, here is Philadelphia 7, Buffalo nothing. Ty Detmer throwing the touchdown pass to Kevin Turner. Now their second opportunity offense. He goes to the far side, and it is overthrown incomplete. Now the entire Detmer family, as most everybody who's been following the Eagles knows, are involved. Uh, his dad is the head coach. Sonny's the head coach down in Mission, Texas High School. And uh, his brother, Coy, is the quarterback at Colorado. Well, uh, they've all been 4-0. Since uh, since Ty started starting, he said that he told us Saturday, he said, you know, the pressure's on Dad, because last night they played. He didn't know at the time. I called uh, Mission Texas. I called everybody in Mission Texas. Not, not anymore, <laughs> Charlie. The pressure is no longer on Dad. The pressure's now on Ty. It is. Because Dad won and Coy, his brother won in Colorado. And it's time. As Detmer goes down. That is only the fourth time that he has been sacked in the last five games. That is since he started. And I believe it was Jim Jeffcoat who got him for Buffalo. Well, one of the things that this Buffalo defense can count on with a guy like Detmer and quarterback, though, is he will not just stand there and throw the ball to throw it and risk an interception. Jeffcoat, Smith, Pop, they know they're going to get a shot at this guy, but he's going to stand there and he's going to get the ball out and he's going to throw it out of bounds. 
He's not going to throw it up for grabs. They got to get him before he throws it out of bounds. Tom Hutton will be kicking for the Eagles. Jeff Burroughs is the return man for Buffalo. There's pressure and it's blocked. Touchdown, Buffalo. Gabe Northern, the rookie from LSU. Charlie, he absolutely smothered that thing. He came free from the outside and never let up. So the rookie from LSU comes through for the Bills on the right side. Right side of your screen, hardly gets held up. Long arms out there, smacks that ball and recovers it. Watch him stretch out with those arms and just take Hutton out of it. He gets the bounce and he chases it. He's gonna hang on to that football. Now the extra point to tie it up and we are tied at seven as the fortunes suddenly change here in Philadelphia. Buffalo 7, Eagles 7, back with a kickoff in a moment. Northern, the 18-yard block punt return for the touchdown, his first career NFL touchdown, and he will save the football. The kick, and here is Derek Witherspoon on the return for the Eagles. He gets to the outside, and then he's going to be swarmed under. Mark Pike went up on top of him and brought him down. Let's go back to the block punt. Well, what you want to do, you want to make Northern come out this way. But you look at him take a direct route directly at Hutton to get this block. He never really breaks his pattern. That's why he smothers it, and that's why it ends up being a block punt. It's just luck that it rolls like that, but he'll take that for his first career touchdown, and no one is more happier, besides Northern, obvious, than Bruce DeHaven right there on the right side of the screen, special teams coach of the Bills. All special teams coaches get involved, don't they? I think it's, it's the nature of the man. Eagles now with their own 25-yard line. Ball game tied at 7. With 8.20 left to go, we're in the first quarter. Off the right side is Ricky Waters. A gain of five. That will take him to the 30-yard line, where it'll be second down and five. Yeah, that running game for Philadelphia is absolutely crucial against this 3-4 defense. Sure, a couple weeks ago against Carolina, they faced a 3-4, and De Detmer had an out-of-body experience, passing for 300-and-something yards and did great. But for this team to go to where it wants to be at the end of the year and be a factor in the NFC, they've got to run the ball every week. Ricky Waters needs 105 yards. That is doable. He has really been running well to reach the 1,000-yard mark. It'll be the first time an eagle has gotten to that mark this quickly in the season. Bill Hansen and Bruce Smith on the last tackle. Well, he fits very well in this offense because he is now the featured guy. You know, last year he and Charlie Garner traded a lot of time off to carrying the ball. And coming into this year, he started out good. And Ray, really, Ray Rhodes didn't want to take him out. He said, you know, when my running back all lathered up. You know, he likes that lathered up. He goes, when he gets lathered up and ready to go, I can't take him out. Even though I know Charlie can do certain things maybe better, you don't take the lathered guy out. Sounds like a horse race, doesn't it? Detmer with pressure over the middle, a little high but caught. It is pulled down by Chris T. Jones, first down. And that's exactly what Chris T. Jones has brought into this offense. You know, Irving Fryer has done wonders with his relationship with Ty Detmer. But one thing this young guy will do, this young guy will go over the ball, Chris T. Jones. And he also, also can rely on running that pattern because he knows his quarterback is going to stay in until the last possible second. Hanson had a great rush, but just not quite great enough as Detmer hung in there. Ken Urban with the tackle. First down, 41-yard line. Detmer now 5 of 8. He'll swing right flat into play. Hurried it just a little bit. Going to Ricky Waters, so it'll be second and ten of the 41. Yeah, right. That's just the case right there, Charlie. You know, Detmer's Detmer's arm was a little bit uh, faster than his head. He saw what he had to do, and his arm just kind of overreacted to the the brain impulse. But that's that's expected in a game like this. I mean, both teams are taking this game as a huge game. Rightfully, they should. I mean, they're both leading their division. They're both on a roll, and the setback right now at this point of the season is going to be trouble for either one of these teams. Second down and 10. 
Detmer to throw. Good protection. Goes to little high head to get it over the defender. Ricky Waters goes up. He pulls it down, and it's a first down. As the Eagles continue to move the ball. Well, remember what I told you before, Charlie. Mismatches. You want a mismatch if you can find it. And right now, they're managing to find it. And right now, in this case, it's Mark Maddox, the inside linebacker, against Ricky Waters again. Linebackers on running backs, especially these running backs, are not a good matchup for Wade Phillips and his defense. Buffalo, 46-yard line. First down, Eagle. Ball game tied at seven. Now, Waters and Garner are the running backs. And Waters goes in motion. And here is Garner with that great speed. Breaks it over the right side, down the sideline. First down, Charlie Garner. Kurt Schultz and Chris Spielman finally got him, but he rambles for some 15 yards on the play. You noted the, the formation. You got Garner and you got Ricky Waters in motion. Watch where Ricky Waters shows up on the outside, left part of the screen, right there. Look at him blocking down the field, actually holding Jeff Burris, but he doesn't get called for him. That is just another thing. They're spreading out the Buffalo defense. They're making them think, and when they think, they're exploiting mismatches. And we have an injury timeout just off the field of play at the 30-yard line. That was Kurt Schultz that went down after that tackle, Charlie. The clock is stopped with 5.26. Time remaining. We're in the first quarter. We're tied at 7. Back in a moment. Liberty with Garner. Watch the first shot there. Second shot on his shoulder. Then the insult to injury. You get Spielman and the gang jumping on top of you. Eagles had the ball at the Bills 31 yard line. Waters sweeps to the right side, gets the corner, and about five yards on the play as Phil Hansen takes him down. Now you add that five yards to Philadelphia's offensive total already now with uh, just under five minutes left in the first quarter. Their total offense is 118 yards, and Buffalo's total offense is 21 yards. Well, a lot of that, too, is you have to look at the factor of what's going on with John Gruden upstairs, the offensive coordinator. He's getting what he wants. When a coordinator in this style of an offense can look up and have second and five every time. Perfect. Every time. <laughs> yeah. And guess what? Second and five. Dittmer in the pocket. is a great deal for the pocket. Forces it into traffic and completes the pass. He goes to Irving Pryor. He had to wait. He was covered by the bill. But well, there's not many receivers in the league that don't mind going in for business inside. I mean, a lot of receivers would not like to go in there. Look at him working inside here. He's going to get hit by the linebacker and the safety, and he's come up a little bit lame there on that left leg. He took a shot on the left leg from the defensive back. And he was rolled just a bit and was slow getting up. He didn't want to get up at first. Well, Thomas Smith came in. You saw Maddox in the front part of the tackle, but Thomas Smith, 28th, the right cornerback. Watch him come on the, the left leg. The little, the little thing that happened right there when uh, Thomas first came in, you get that high-speed wobble when you're working on this AstroTurf. I mean, it's terrible when it's warm weather. And the colder it gets, the worse AstroTurf gets because it's the harder it gets. 22-yard line, third down and one. Mark Say replaces him. This is the ninth play of the drive. And here is Waters with two blockers in front. Needs a yard for the first down. This is going to be close. We'll wait for the measure. Phil Hansen went underneath to stop him. Remember what I told you about cracks in a defense. I mean, Ricky Waters did not have much in the way of crack in that Buffalo defense. Nice job backside pursuing. You can always count on this defense being where it's supposed to be. The reason Philadelphia's offense has done so well so far is, you know, the Bills are where they're supposed to be. It's just when you get the matchups that you really want offensively, if you're in the right place, it doesn't matter if you're covering the wrong guy. And here are the chains for the measurement. Half the length of the football, first down, 21 yard line. Yeah, we've seen Marcus Allen get low and get first downs. You've seen Thurman Thomas do it time and again. Here's the crack, and there's the first down. I mean, and that is not much of a crack when you're trying to run through all three of the defensive linemen. First down, Waters is dropped for a loss. Nice play. 23-yard line. They'll lose two. 
And it was Phil Hansen who's having an excellent game, truly coming into his own in this his sixth year. Well, he's having a very good year overall, Charlie, but he runs into a situation where you got Bryce Pop, you got Bruce Smith. You know, you got so many stars on this defense. You could be the number two guy in this entire defense stat-wise, and you're the number five guy people think about. Irving Fryer back in the ball game. He has three straight 100-yard games receiving. They need him here, second down and 12. Detmer with pressure over the middle. Guess what? It's Irving Fryer. He turns down the sideline, lowers his head, and he goes to the six-yard line. Whoop! Irving Fryer, a Golden Glove boxer a long time ago. Really punished the defender. He picked up 16 yards. I'm going to keep hammering this, Charlie. You've got them spread out. You're going to spread the field. You're going to bring crossing patterns. And when you cross with Irving Fryer, you're looking for a block. Right there. Ooh. Charlie Garner on Chris Fieldman. How good was it? Here's a better look. Now, that's a little running back, and Garner's not big. Just trying to hit and knocking a slobbering linebacker on his back. First down, goal to go, six yard line, Waters. No, you maybe get to the five. That's going to be it. And it'll be second down and goal to go. A very descriptive linebacker that you have. <laughs> now, what have the Eagles done in the red zone that's inside of the 20 yard line? Well, the Eagles offensively have done a lot of great things inside inside the 20 you see that touchdown percentage 57 percent basically of those times in there seventh best in the league are touchdowns ideally you know numbers are numbers but you see that 57 ideally you want to be in the 70s the 70s put you in the top oh two three four teams in the nfl injury down this number 73 lester holmes the right guard the right guard he got hit in the eye and here's what happened He's blocking down right there 73. On, on Ted Washington. See him right there, yeah. grab his face mask yeah. real quick. You know, you're blocking down against a nose guard like Washington at that size, trying to cross your face. That's totally unintentional, and that's why so many offensive linemen now in the last 10 years have started wearing those face shields. Now, have you, did, when you were the 49ers as an offensive lineman, did you ever wear a face shield? Uh, no, I didn't. I did, just, did you ever try one in practice to yeah. see what they look like? They, now, they, what, they're a little disoriented. Uh, nowadays, though, they've got ones like in hockey. They're made out of, like, fighter pilot-type face masks, so they don't distort on the outside. A lot of these shields now, as you take a look at Guy McIntyre, my old teammate from the 49ers, and they replace Holmes, now those shields are tinted, and they're more curved, so you get less distortion as before, but you still got the safety strip. Is that a reflector? It's a safety strip. So he's not hit at night, but yeah, he goes well, out? That's so a linebacker knows Guy is coming. Ah. You know, it's, it's fair. We're giving the defense... So much grief for hitting late and stuff. They're giving the uh, the defense a little bit of an advantage, so a, guy, a guard like McIntyre can't sneak up on him with those safety strips on his head. And if he wants to take his walk at night in the streets, he wears his helmet, right? Or ride his bike home. <laughs> I believe we said that earlier. This, year. this is the 12th play of the drive that started at the Eagles 25-yard line. Second and goal at the five. Waters goes in motion. Detmer. Three steps, throws, back edge of the end zone, incomplete. Jason Dunn, the tight end, the intended receiver. Nice throw. He throws it high. The only man to have a shot at it was 6'4", Jason Dunn, the tight end, who went up for it, couldn't bring it down. Spielman was with it. Well, watch his hands, Charlie, on this throw. Yeah, it's up where it's supposed to be. But Chris Spielman had a hold of his hands before he could go up for it. I mean, Spielman, I mean, Denver knows he put it where it was supposed mm -hmm. to be. Yep. The great job there, and Ray Rhodes will admit it when he sees the tape, was done by Chris Spielman because he didn't let Dunn get his hands up to catch him. Three wide receivers. Third down, goal to go. Now Ford Water swings out. Backside pressure. A little flare to the corner of his flyer, and it is incomplete. Boy, so it's that, going to be fourth down. Marion Kerner, 46. What a nice job he does of... You, know, you don't have to be climbing all over guy to play good defense. Watch Kerner's body position. See his body position between the quarterback and the receiver. There's nowhere, nowhere for Detmer to try to drop that in. That is textbook job right there. And then he turned and looked back at the ball, which is so important. Well, he looks at the ball, and he's also looking around for the officials. You never know when they're going to drop a little uh, yellow one on you. Speaking of yellow ones, we haven't had a flag in the ball game. Here's the 23-yard field goal attempt by Gary Anderson, and it is good. He has scored 1,509 points. 
and this three puts the Eagles on top by three. 120 time remaining in the first quarter. Hey, yeah, we've mentioned it before, but what Ray Rose does not want to see from his kickoff team is that lack of hand time from Anderson. The last kickoff, the ball came down about the 9-10 yard line, but it came down quick. Watch where the kicking team is when the receiver catches the ball. You don't want more than 20 yards difference between the ball and your coverage team. You get more than 20, you're looking for serious problems. The ball off of the tee again, so it will be reset. Gary Anderson, who had the field goal, will kick it away. Eric Moles is the return man. The Eagles like a hang time of 4.1 or 4.2 seconds. Well, we didn't get it started in time, but we'll get it next time. Eric Moles in the four. Out now to the 20. Nice move to the outside and another good return. They're not getting the hang time that they want. Well, and that, see the way that return went, the way Moles was able to come up, sort of run into the back of the return, look around, you know, have a piece of pie, a little iced tea, then break to the right. You're not supposed to be able to do that. So, you know, when you're a star in the league, you get three guys. Look at I mean, he can't bend over. And that's, look at him, they're tiny that's, Bruce, that's Bruce Smith. I don't care. They're that. tiny. One guy's, one guy's wiping his sock. One guy's putting his shoelaces together. <laughs> Who's carrying his hanky? <laughs> Kelly comes out throwing far side. Pass is complete. Close to the first down. He goes to Quinn early. And Quinn takes the ball just shy of the 41-yard line, so it's going to be second down and a yard. This whole game, Charlie, is about matchups. Remember that, and remember Tasker working his, out of the slot now in motion. And here is Thurman Thomas. Just needed a yard for the first down. He will get his momentum and the football where he's marked at that spot. It's going to be close to the marker. It will be a first down. I can't believe it. We're doing an AstroTurf game. We got a guy that's dirty. Thurman Thomas has mud on his jersey. He must got some off the old infield here. <laughs> Either that or he went outside during a timeout. Nobody gets dirty on a turf game. A lot of time left on the play clock. Nine seconds and counting. And on the draw, Thomas. Nothing there. Looks right, looks right nothing. Looks left nothing. And he was correct in his first analysis. James Willis and Ray Farmer make the stop. That is the end of the first quarter. The score, the Eagles 10, the Bills 7. We have not had one flag from the officials. It can't be. I got to see. It is. The quarter, the Eagles are up by three. Irving Fryer being worked on on the side. He only has one man to help him, though, doesn't uh, yeah, I guess when equipment guys have to change Bruce Smith's Shoe, it takes three of them to do that. You know, a guy like Irving Fryer is going to sit still for a trainer long enough for a trainer to tape him, but you get the star treatment for equipment. Well, and also Bruce is 6'4, 273. He says, Come help me. Everybody joins in. Oh, uh, Jim Kelly knew he had something working yep. there because he caught the Philadelphia Eagles giving away a blitz. Defenses want to disguise blitzes, but they didn't disguise long enough. You get very, very anxious against this offense because you think they're hurrying. They're not really hurrying. You see, you see right there, James Willis, who was rushing from the inside, just put his hand up there and blocked it. As a defense, you can't hurry against the no huddle. They're in no rush. Third down. Thurman Thomas, he's cruising. Now he turns, has an opening, and he's going to pick up the first down. Interesting, we have a flag down. First flag of the ball game. But as he was just going to the right, he was taking his time looking for the opening to happen. And it will be a hold against the Bills. They'll bring it back, I believe, on Reuben Brown. Hey, anytime you get a corner that quick, you get suspicious. I know defensive coaches get suspicious. <laughs> Johnny Greer is the referee. Holding 84. No, they caught it on Lonnie Johnson, the tight end. Well, who else is better on the corner? <laughs> That's right. When you there. get a corner that quick, you got to look at the guy on the corner. And here, here you got your corner working here. Let's keep an eye on the corner and see what happens. That's the wing. Don't see any hole working there. Don't see any hole backside. 
See a whole bunch of great big guys in white jerseys with red helmets on We're running in front of Thurman Thomas, so they won't forget that play. Third down and 20. Kelly from the shotgun. Four man run. Pump fake. Scrambles. Dumps it off. It is caught by a lineman flag flying from everywhere. Illegal touching. An offensive lineman cannot be the first one to touch the ball. It might be a friendly face, but you can't give it to him. Zoyce Panagiotopoulos, now known as Joe Panos. Check this out. Here comes the rush. Mamula's there first. Just barely. They got lucky. The Eagles defense got lucky that Darian Connor didn't get that head on Kelly. You saw him duck his head. That would have been a penalty. There's another flag still on the field. They'll have to remove it before this now. That's uh, just janitorial work. Yeah. Chris Moore to kick. His first kick was 54 yards. Mark Say is the return man. And we're set to go. Penalty reviewed. It's fourth down and 20. Straight up. A high floater. Coverage is five yards faster. Fair catch at the 21 yard line. 48 yards on the catch. We have a timeout and the Eagles have the lead by three. Back in a moment. Pittsburgh, uh, Philadelphia at their own 21 yard line. Detmer, a little swing, left flat, pass is complete. He goes to Charlie Garner, and Garner goes running out of bounds. As he is being chased, we have a flag down. Gabe Northern has a block punt and the touchdown for the Bills was there for Buffalo. Well, I'll tell you, Charlie, Bruce Smith is starting to adjust to Ty Detmer's snap count, and he better start burying it because he's getting off the ball like he's got a fire in his feet. Holding, 76, offense, still first down. Barrett Brooks. And he's working against Bruce Smith. Watch up here. Now, you just try to watch the ball as it moves. <laughs> and him and Brooks gets a disadvantage he gets into his body oh he didn't hold him he tackled him <laughs> it was one of those headlocks I'm sorry you can't get your fingers caught in a jersey when you got a hold of that big old helmet of Bruce Smith Ray Rose told us yesterday he was concerned about Bruce Smith he said he's still cat quick and you saw that cat like move first down and 20. Detmer this is a screen Kevin Turner Turner will go to about the 14-yard line as we go to New York for an update. All right, Charlie. In Tampa, the Oakland Raiders, Hostetler, the pitch to Harvey Williams, who tosses his second career touchdown pass, an 18-yarder to James Jett. And with the extra point, the Raiders have now pulled even with Tampa Bay, 7-7, a little over 8 to play in the first half, Charlie. And here in Philadelphia, the Eagles continue to lead by three over 13 minutes to go in the first half. It is now second down and 17. <laughs> Defensive adjustments by the Bills that you hear, Detmer. Incomplete as he overthrows Mark Shea. Did, did you hear right there when they started going to their audible, did you hear what Buffalo was screaming? They were screaming three step, quick step, three step. They know that Ty Detmer, he obviously has a pattern. Defenses study those patterns. Wade Phillips, the defensive coordinator of Buffalo, has got his defense concentrating. When you hear this guy audible, when we've got people up near the line of scrimmage, be aware of the three-step quick pass. Let me make a correction. Let me go back and uh, apologize to Joe Panos. He wasn't the one that talked to the errant pass from Joe Kelly. It was Corey Lucci. I mixed up my 72. The pass is right on target by Detmer with Bills hanging all over him. Mark Say pulls it in. Remember, it's third down and 17. They have the first down as they converge. Well, I tell you what the amazing part is, is not so much Mark Say. It's a nice route by Say because he goes right into the hole on a defense. See the hole in the defense? He settles and Detmer gives him the ball. But I tell you what, how does Detmer do this? He was hit and grabbed before he threw that ball. On that his way is, down. That is concentration in four by a quarterback. First down, 33-yard line. Ricky Water to the outside. Continues along the bench near the 38-yard line before he stepped out. That'll be almost five. Let's call it second down and five as Mark Maddox and Chris Spielman are just a step away. Well, you know, Ricky Waters, even at his size, and he is a big running back, 
for by NFL standards for a halfback. You know, he's six foot two and he weighs about 215 pounds. He has the uncoachable variable. He has the speed. That was not a well blocked play. The uncoachable variable came into play right there. He just flat out burned it to the corner and got those yards. We talked to him yesterday. He's having more fun. He was just public with energy and enthusiasm. Detmer, a little touch pass. This one's complete. Chris T. Jones down the sideline where he is bumped out by Matt Stevens. And speaking of conversations yesterday, we talked with Matt Stevens. And this guy likes to hit. The rookie loves to hit, and he loves to get in matchups with running backs. And what they're doing now is they're getting matchups with wide receivers on the underneath part of a zone against the linebackers of Buffalo. I mean, nice smack by Stevens. I mean, he's got the whole deal working, too, with that uh, that mane coming out of the back of his helmet. Appalachian State, what is that, uh, one double A? He said, I've never seen anybody this big this fast as when I got to the NFL. Here's Waters, a little stutter step for the yard line. He will fall forward maybe a half yard. Let's call it second down and 10 at the Buffalo 40 yard line. Chris Spielman with the tackle. Well, so far this game, Charlie, is pretty much to form. You've got just a battle going on. Kansas City leading Green Bay. Let me interrupt as the ticker comes up. Miami game that we were talking about. The Jets, what about that? Well, I mean, they're getting Woo. people healthy. The yeah. Jets are not a terrible team. They're not as bad as they look. Washington and Arizona are tied at three. Houston over New Orleans. Oakland, Tampa Bay. We had that update from Greg a moment ago. Second down and 10. Bates comes back right on target. Thomas Smith again, Charlie. Nice defensive effort. I mean, they've got underrated corners with Jeff Burris and Thomas Smith. And, you know, that there's not much you can do as a receiver or quarterback then try to do exactly what Ty Detmer and Irving Fryer do here. You get your release, your quarterback puts the ball there, and Thomas Smith just comes yep. in there with that right hand perfectly and strips that ball out. You don't hear much about these corners for Buffalo, but they are very good in man defense. Third down and 10, 40-yard line. Detmer sets it up. Little timing, Josh to water. He has a variance, then he has a nice touch on the ball. Well, you know, I tell you what, this guy sits in the pocket. He doesn't mind taking a hit, but I tell you what else, Buffalo doesn't mind giving Detmer this much time if this is what he's gonna do and flip one out short. They will give these passes a lot to Philadelphia. That is not a mismatch. That's just something that the defense for Buffalo loves. Fourth down and five, we've got a timeout. We'll step aside, we'll be back in just a moment. Gary Anderson can't kick a 52-yard field goal, but you're not giving up a huge amount, but more importantly, Ray Rhodes last week against Dallas did the same thing in the first half. Got a fourth down in this type of territory, went for it, got it last week. It's a great sign of confidence in your team and your offense when you do this for them. Fourth down, about four and a half yards to go for the first down. And it is intercepted. Buffalo comes up with the ball on the interception. Well, the gamble does not pay off. Bills take over on the interception. It would have been about the same if the play had not gone. And if they would have kicked the punt and it would have gone out of the uh, end zone, then it maybe cost them, what, 15 yards. So well, a gamble, but this time it didn't work. Charlie, Ty Detmer knows he made a mistake here going into the middle of the field because he doesn't have much to work with. I mean, look at where he's going. There, there's nobody really for him to go to. Ricky Waters... He throws it behind him, sets that interception up, and he had some other open receivers out there, and one of them certainly wasn't Kerner who intercepted it. Marlon Kerner has the interception. That is his first of the year. And the Bills come out very quickly, and Derek Holmes makes his first appearance in the ball game at running back. He had 122 yards last week, and uh, he has been very special for them. And they in that hurry-up mode. Starting at their own 36, they picked up five. Now they're going to add four more to it. Holmes again with the call. See, now watch the Buffalo offense in Holmes. There is no sense of urgency with these guys. So that's why people think, you know, this is a no huddle. This is a hurry up. They get down, they get in the stance, and they go. And another straight shot. A flag is in the air. You may have heard some whistles before the play got off. Didn't look like everybody was really set yeah. before they snapped that ball. 
Ball start. Left guard. Prior to the snap. Still third down. See, and that's the reason Buffalo had a problem earlier in the season running this offense. Marv Levy's made that point a lot of times. Hey, look, we can't do this thing. Even if ever all my veterans want to do it right, if my guys up front offensively are going to jump offside, or if my guys up front offensively aren't sure where they're going. Buffalo with a total offense thus far of only 36 yards. The Eagles have 194. A little play action fake, buying some time. Pass is complete, should be the first down. Going to Steve Tasker. <laughs> They will mark it at the 48-yard line, and it is a first down. They needed six, and they got eight. So far, we have not seen a whole lot of man defense out of Philadelphia. They're zoning up. That's why Tasker and those crossing patterns are working. We go back inside with Derrick Hall. Well, I tell you, right now, with the running game that Buffalo's getting going since Holmes came in here on this series, they're making the Philadelphia defense look like it's doing a lot of standing around and not much attacking. At the Philadelphia 45-yard line. Second down and four. And here is another yard, and it's Derek Holmes again. He thrives on this offense. He told us the reason that I do is because, truthfully, is that Thurman Thomas gets a little tired and I get to go ahead and run in his place. I like that. Well, that's why he likes it. But also last week, Thurman Thomas came to him and said, hey, look, you go in. You're on a roll. You're doing it well. You go ahead and take it. And uh, not a lot of veteran running backs like Thurman there that would do that for a backup. Third down and two. They're all local listening. crowd here in Philadelphia. They're all listening for the audible. They all know what the snap count is. They just don't know what the play is. And this will be the first down for Derrick Holmes. And he gets it by just about a yard at the 41-yard line. Needed two, got three, first down. Well, it looked, looked awful confusing up there for the Buffalo Bills until they snapped the ball. And as soon as they snapped the ball, the confusion ended, and the confusion went to the defensive side. The Eagles are not adjusting to the snow huddle. They are passive, and they are not attacking. Holmes, the remaining back, and he gets the call again. This time to the right. Flag is down. He turns it upfield. It was gone for about 10 yards. It's going to be a hold against Buffalo. And it's on Reuben Brown because he is arguing the fact <laughs> that he's going to lose the argument. You see Jim Kelly pulling back? Oh, yeah. He said, I need you. Holding 79. Offense. Still first down. That's the left guard, Reuben Brown. Well, let's take a look at old Reuben. That left guard there. Watch him blocking. He's going to pull out. He's going to try to hook a corner. And when you're hooking the corner, that means you're going against the defensive lineman who's stationary. You're moving, and the hooking is supposed to be with your shoulder, not with your arm. And Johnny Greer called him for getting the arm in there and hooking that line. First down and 20, Kelly to throw. Comes to the near side, pass is complete. Quinn Early is thrown down immediately by Bobby Taylor. And, they, and that's something that Bobby Taylor has really brought to this Eagles defense since last year. Oh, I guess after the first month or so when Ray Rhodes had a little heart-to-heart -heart with Bobby Taylor saying, hey, look, you were, you're big and you're strong. You didn't play physical at Notre Dame. You got by with it there. You got to play physical here or you won't play for me. And he's being physical now. Second down, 16 shotgun. Thurman Thomas back in. Over the middle, into traffic, forces it, but makes the play. He goes to Steve Tasker. That's Tasker coming from the top side slot, Charlie. We're talking about those matchups. Look at the matchup with Tasker. Out of the slot, coming inside. He's getting the running head start, and he's getting the matchup he wants. He got 14 yards, his third down and two, and Thurman Thomas will pick up the first down. He had a bit of a breather while Derrick Holmes was in. Now he comes back in and picks up the first down. You're seeing exactly why the Buffalo Bills are comfortable running this offense, and it's not so much because of the running of Thomas and Holmes. It's because of the confusion and lack of aggression this offense causes on a defense. Eagles 28-yard line, first down Buffalo. Eagles lead in the ball game, 10-7. Just over five minutes to go, first down. Thurman Thomas, shut off inside, goes outside. Nice move, 20-yard line. William Thomas gets him for Philadelphia. 
Gain of eight. Well, check this out here. This play is supposed to come in and right about here. Watch what happens when Thurman Thomas gets out there with his lead blocker. You got Reuben Brown coming in. It's supposed to go right in there. Nope. He bounces it when he sees Reuben Brown, his guard bounces it. That is a nice job of reading the lineman. He's seeing the same thing you are. If he pays attention, you're going to have a hole. William Fuller injured. Timeout. They continue to work on William Fuller. The Buffalo Bills have the ball at the Eagles 20 yard line. Started this at the 36 in their own territory. This is the 10th play of the drive. There it is, nine plays, 54 yards, just over five minutes. Thurman Thomas, the remaining back. Two wide receivers, double flankers on the near side. And it's going to be close to the first down. Thurman Thomas getting the call. And remember, he needed a full two yards. Fisher comes in and it marks it. It will be a first down. Well, remember how aggressive this Philadelphia defense looked the first couple of possessions mm -hmm. that Buffalo had the ball. It, this is a totally different you know, body language thing going on right now for the guys in green. They are sitting and waiting, and Buffalo and Kelly are serving. Andre Reed wide at the far side, deep over the middle. Kelly is out of time. Spin. This kind of little, gets a little bit of dump off. He's going to Thurman Thomas. It is incomplete as we go to New York for an update. Greg? All right, Charlie. Bills fans will find this interesting. At the Meadowlands, Adrian Morrell, his second one-yard touchdown of the afternoon. 93 rushing yards in the first half for Morrell. The Jets lead the Patriots 21-0. Two minutes to play in the first half, Charlie. Whoa. That is interesting because the, the Patriots have been on a bit of a roll. I'd like to be in the locker room with a big tune on that one. Oh, yeah. Here's Thurman Thomas. And he is down at the 21-yard line. That is the Eagles defense we saw earlier on the last two plays. No indecision, no lack of commitment, no lack of aggression. Both of the last two plays, this front seven has decided to say the heck with this, we're coming after him. Mike Mamula with his penetration set it up, and then the rest of them came to his rescue. Third down and 13. The Bills, of course, within Steve Christie's field goal range for the tie if they do not pick up the first down here. Four wide receiver shotgun. Over the middle pass is complete with the first down inside the 10 yard line and then at the seven yard line is Andre Reed. Bobby Taylor got him, nice play. For a second there, I thought he was gonna run back behind that first down marker trying to gain more yards. But look at the matchups they're getting. They're spreading out the defense and they're getting those matchups. They're doing exactly to Philadelphia what Philadelphia was doing early. Jim Kelly's getting some very nice protection on that play. That sets up the matchup. 14 yards, first down goal to go seven. Thurman Thomas, the hole was closed. Took a little sliding step to his left. He gets to the six. It'll be second down and goal to go. You know, Buffalo earlier this year, Charlie, was one of the worst teams in the entire league at what they were doing. I mean, they're up to 41%, and I mean, they're way up to 41%. Remember I said 70's where you want to be? They're a lot off. Here's Thurman Town. Heads for the corner, cuts back over the top, end zone, touchdown. Buffalo has the lead. And Hoss comes down to join the celebration. And that's the way you celebrate in the NFL. I tell you what, you celebrate with a guy that wants to go out of his way to give you extra carries last week. That's the kind of team, that's the kind of running back relationship he has with the veteran Thomas. And the veteran Thomas is being the veteran Thomas. Getting nice blocking there from John Fina, his left tackle working on that counter play. And Steve Christie with the point after. It is good. And the Buffalo Bills now lead the Philadelphia Eagles by a score of 14 to 10. We'll be back with a kickoff in just a moment. Touchdown of the year, all rushing as Steve Christie kicks it away. Derek Witherspoon takes it at the three. He's out to the 20, the 25. To stand him up at around the 28 yard line. And he's going to come down close to the 30. Gabe Northern gets him. Let's go back to that touchdown, Randy. Well, watch the left guard and left tackle. Ruben Brown and John Fina come up inside. Fina ends up going outside with Thurman Thomas. This is the old counter tray. Washington made it famous. Buffalo's used it for years, and here uses it to perfection. That was a nice play, but the key to that drive, Charlie, is four third down conversions on that drive. The last one on third and 13. Eagles will start from their own 30-yard line. 
They now trail by four. First down. Tipped incomplete. Kevin Turner, the intended receiver. And Ted Washington got a hand on it. So it'll be second down and 10 at the 30. Yeah, we, we talked about the attack and the swagger of Philadelphia's defense. You're just starting, or I'm starting to get a sense here that Bruce Smith, Bryce Pop, and Spielman inside are starting to get a read and a rhythm on Ty Detmer in the offense. Detmer and his coordinator, John Gruden, better keep mixing it up or Detmer's going to start getting hammered. Detmer to throw, a little swing, left flat. Pass is good. He goes to Kevin Turner. Kevin will pick up about five. Detmer goes down. Matt Stevens and Mark Maddox were there for Buffalo. And right there, you had a good example. I mean, that was a play where it's supposed to get out of there quick to avoid the rush. And the rush came from Chris Spielman blitzing from the inside linebacker and Bruce Smith. I mean, Bruce Smith and Chris Spielman. And the two-minute warning. Buffalo 14, Philadelphia 10. The Eagles, he, uh, his record is 4-0. and He said, uh, everybody's getting excited, uh, all the Eagle fans. He said, don't get too excited over four ball games. I'm working on a career. Eagles, 4 of 7 on third down opportunities today. Third down and 5. Pressure again, and he goes down. You're right. The Bills are really putting the pressure on them now. Yeah, well, they are a lot of things because they're changing things up. And you know who they're changing it mostly up with is Bruce Smith. Here's Bruce Smith. He's lined up right here in the middle of that kind of cockeyed nose guard. And watch the stunts and games coming from there. You've got Bryce Pop, the left side of your screen, at his feet. That's Bruce Smith just trying to get a grab and a piece, and Phil Hansen gets another piece. But the offensive line right now, the Philadelphia Eagles, is a little mismatched. They're getting the matchups they, they want, and they're not looking good. Remember, we said Philly's offense was getting good matchups from the linebackers. Well, Bruce Smith, who you just saw there and you're looking at now, is getting the matchups he wants right now. And if he gets credit for that whole sack, that will be his eighth on the year. Meanwhile, we have a timeout on the field. The Bills have two timeouts remaining, and the Eagles now have two timeouts remaining. Yeah, Bruce, that, wasn't, that, was, that, was, that was barely a morsel. I mean, I, I don't know if he got knocked down or the wind blew him down. He had so many guys flying by him. I think the jet screen got him on the ground. But in the newspaper, it looked like a big sack. Uh, I don't know about that. They might have to, I don't, they don't give him third. They might give him third for that one. Tom Hutton will be kicking. Jeff Burris is the return man. Gets this one on. Burris takes it, 25-yard line. Looks for some help. Tries to make the corner. Not there. He goes out of bounds. And a block takes out yeah. one of the players and also an official. 747-yard punt, 10-yard well, return. Yeah. That block we talked about, that block was on James Fuller, and it was out of bounds. Jim Kelly there is lucky he's not starting another 10, 15 yards farther back. Quarterback comparison. You know, sometimes we all get way too caught up in quarterbacks. You know, Jim Kelly's the guy that we the one of the first ones to tell you, hey, look, you know, my guy's got to run the ball to set up my passing game. Ty Denver's got the numbers he did because he's got that those mismatches in the first quarter, but he's not getting them right now. And Jim Kelly's offense is rolling. 142 left in the half from the shotgun. Deep over the middle, double coverage, and it is held on. No way. Whoa, 45, guess who? It's got to be Tasker, and it is. Steve Tasker. Now, he's a special team specialist. Steve Tasker Whoa. did oh. not have that ball before the collision. I think the collision was Zordich knocked the ball back into his hand. Philadelphia, 45-yard line. And this one's a little behind the intended receiver. It was Lonnie Johnson, the tight end. So it will be second down and 10 at the Eagles 45 and the time remaining 121. Now Ray Rhodes told us yesterday, Charlie, that, that his defense worked in 10 play segments against this no huddle. Not as a hurry up, but as a no huddle because he knew he couldn't substitute like he wanted to. Well, he's not attacking like he wants to right now either. Kelly again from the shotgun. Good protection and he goes deep and overthrows everybody. Andre Reed, the intended receiver. It'll be third down and 10, and 
The Eagles defense getting to Kelly as he takes a shot. Well, he takes a shot here at the end, but you know, I got to make a point right now. We talked about him early. Corey Lucci, number 72. He, he was the first one to touch that one pass to Kelly. He's playing at right tackle. He's playing against William Fuller. We haven't called Fuller's name much at all. He's having a heck of a game. And he's replacing Glenn Parker at that spot. Right on target to Quinn Early. Early to the 25-yard line, first down. Converting on third down, third and 10. Also an advantage for Buffalo. When you're in the no huddle a lot, is it really the hurry-up offense in the two minutes? He'll spike this one to, stop, to uh, stop the clock. That last pass play to Quinn Early was good for 20 yards to the 25-yard line. So now it'll be second down and 10. And they'll still have their two timeouts remaining. And you're in field goal range. For Steve Christie, it would be about a 42-yard field goal well inside his range. So now you can be selective. Question, though, with 54 seconds left, why not take another the time out and have one remaining? You're, you're going gonna, you're gonna to go into the end zone right in here. You're getting the matchups you want, the mismatches. Thurman Thomas. And this is why you wanted the timeout. And because now they'll take the timeout here. They wanted a running play to see if they could get anything going on the ground. Now they take a timeout. They have one remaining here in the first half as we step aside. We'll be back in a moment. Buffalo by four. The number for the Bills, their last touchdown drive, they converted four times. On this drive, they converted once. Can they do it twice? No, it's intercepted. No, it's not intercepted. Came out of the arm. Thomas, the intended receiver. Ray Farmer, who recovered the fumble early in the ballgame, was diving for it, and when he came down, he couldn't hang on to it. Well, that tells you something about the last few weeks. You know, earlier in the season, the way Jim Kelly's season was going, this would be an interception. When things are going your way, somehow the defensive guys find a way to drop it. 38-yard field goal attempt by Steve Christie. And here it is. And it is good from 38 yards away. And the Bills move up by three more. They lead 17 to 10. Sorry I jumped on you, but I was looking for the nope. snap. You know, no problem, Charlie. <laughs> what we're seeing right now is a Buffalo team that's been in this situation before. A bunch of veterans, just like Jim Kelly you see right there, with a leader in Marv Levy that really knows how to let this team run with a little bit of rope. You know, you got Bruce Smith in the defense who's starting to get on a roll for you. Jim Kelly and this offense are starting to confuse and take the aggression out of Philadelphia's offense. You know, this is a group of guys that just says, hey, look, we know where we've been. We've been in four Super Bowls. You know, what's just another big game in the regular season? They have that to fall back on. Ray Rhodes and his guys don't have that to fall back on. And you're also seeing a little bit of a hangover. They got off to a good start in the first half, and things have started turning a little bit the other way on them. They've lost that emotion that is so important that won them that game last week. And right now, the emotion isn't really there for Ro Rhodes' team. They're guessing on defense. We have 36 seconds. That is the time remaining in the first half. And Buffalo leads it 17 to 10. Steve Christie, who just converted the field goal from 38 yards away, will be kicking off with Derek Witherspoon, the return man for the Eagles. He is the deep back. Mark Say is the up back off to the far side. Witherspoon takes it at the one-yard line, slips just a little bit on the turf, out to the 15, and then slips up across the 20, down around the 21 of the 22-yard line. Ken Irvin is the Bill who got him. So the Eagles will go to work now with exactly 30 seconds left to go here in the first half. Now, one of the reasons Ray Rose is so excited about getting Ty Detmer into this offense was the way he saw him run the two-minute and the hurry-up offense in Green Bay as the backup against Rhodes' defense up there. But this is not a situation to take chances and do anything that gives Buffalo another chance at a big play. Bittmer, deep over the middle, pass is complete. He goes to Chris T. Jones. Now, last three games, the last three games within, within the last minute, Detmer has taken the ball club down to score. They'll take a timeout. They stop it here. They use up seven seconds. 23 seconds left. 40-yard line. And why this guy is so good in this situation has got one thing to do with his demeanor. He's very cool. He does not slap easy. And number two is the guy is smart. Yes. The guy looks at a defense. He can read it. 
and he's a leader. You know, I refer to him for the Philadelphia fans out there. He is the anti-Randall. Yep. You know, he is the guy that has, he does everything as a quarterback should that Randall didn't as a starter here. Yeah, but he's been reading defenses since high school. His dad was his coach. He was in high school in San Antonio. They had five wide receivers on every play. He had to pick and choose. BYU, they also had that wide open offense. Different terminology, though. He's been making these reads, uh, you know, since the time immemorial. And you know the Buffalo defense knows about that last graphic. <laughs> oh, man. Whoa. He is nailed. Marlon Kerner on a corner left. Whoa. Whoa. And how do you take a little sting out of an offense? Woo. Thank you very little. Never mm. even sees him until the last two steps. And he comes out throwing. He throws to Kevin Turner. And Turner gets some of it back out to around the 41-yard line. They'll stop the clock here now with five seconds left. <laughs> They still want to get another one, don't they? They're trying to score. Well, Buffalo is coming after him. You know, they played very soft on the first down. And to be honest with you, Wade Phillips said, okay, the heck with that. We're going to come after this guy. Let's see how he handles that. But, you know, you asked him yesterday, and, you know, I'm sure Wade Phillips there is very aware of Dittmer's arm. People downplay of it. But you said, hey, look, in this situation, five seconds to go, you know it's the, the big Ben offense. You know, three guys on one side, one guy on the other. Chunk it as far as you can. He told you I can throw it 60 yards. 70 maybe. <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, he's with the wind. Yeah, but also, you well, you better get it up in the wind. You need a little altitude in this situation because you want a right. jump ball that can be battered by the offense. And here we go. Three wide receivers on the near side. Good blocking. Rolls out by his time. Slip. He's down. And he is sacked. As Sam Rogers gets the sack. To see how far that he could throw it, but time runs out on the Eagles. The Bills coming from behind after trailing early in the ball game and not playing all that well in the early part of the first quarter. Have the lead at halftime. The score is Buffalo 17, Philadelphia 10. As we send you now to Greg Gumbel, our NFL and NBC halftime studio in New York. In a quarter, they only had about 20 yards offense. That tells you a lot when you get up to 152 <laughs> by the end of the, the end of the first half, but. Both teams had a turnover. By far, the big play that separates this whole thing right now is that punt, that block punt by Gabe Northern yep. that he returned for the touchdown. Otherwise, this thing is 10 to 10, but it's an emotional game today. Buffalo's here. They know how to react emotionally. Philadelphia started out really high and sort of said, okay, here we go. We're going to start pouncing on somebody again. And suddenly, they become the pouncey and not the pouncer. Quarterback comparison, Ty Detmer, 15 of 25, a touchdown and an interception. Kelly, 8 of 16 for 93 yards. But I also remember, you know, we did our thing earlier today on the NFL and NBC with the studio. We talked about the running and the passing. Buffalo, if they throw less than 30 passes this year, is 3-0. and oh. So if they can run it and don't have to throw it, they're going to beat you. Derek Witherspoon is the deep back on the return. It is high and short, taken at the 15-yard line. Now to the 25, across the 30. Pretty good field position to start the drive. The Eagles will be at their own 35-yard line. David White with the stop for the Buffalo Bills. And here's Ty Detmer as he goes to work. Well, a guy to watch, too, here in this situation, I think, Charlie, is Ricky Waters. You know, I mentioned the fact that he's such an emotional football player. Look for Ricky Waters. If he gets a big run or he gets a big first down, he's going to get up really pumping his arms and screaming and yelling and, and kind of waving at the fans. He wants to get them back into the game, and he wants the emotion back on the Eagles' side. We need to get the fans back in the ball game. He's now very quiet as we start the second half. Let's see what Ricky Waters can do. Well, not all that much. Two, maybe three yards on the play. So it'll be second down. Ted Washington making the tackle. Interesting the change of the tempo of the game when the Eagles are in offense when the Bills are in offense. That the no huddle hurries up everybody. Yeah, so keep everybody a step off. People step get off. confused with the no huddle. They say, well, gee, that's just to wear down a bunch of big fat defensive guys. Well, you know, Philadelphia is not big and fat on defense. What they're getting beaten by is it's taking the aggressiveness out of the defense and they look confused. You start thinking rather than reacting. Oh, good slide step. Nice move by Charlie Garner couple of good slide steps just feeling for the opening he finds it and he finds the first down he is so quick 
Bryce Pop makes the tackle. Well, that's another little fire and uh, emotion out of somebody besides Ricky Waters. That one by Charlie Garner. Watch onside. Bruce Smith completely disrupts this play. And somehow, with good blocking coming from the backside mostly, Charlie Garner just takes this thing on and just starts looking for guys in white jerseys to hit. Ricky Waters now the tailback. Garner picked up 10 to the 48 first down. Opening drive, second half. He goes down by seven. And here's Waters with a pair of blockers in front. But he is brought down by Bryce Pop once again. He's got a couple of yards to the 50. Well, it's pretty obvious Ray Rhodes and John Gruden, the offensive coordinator, want to get Ricky Waters in the running game going. They didn't do much after the first quarter or so offensively. And the reason that was is they stopped getting the mismatches and they weren't getting the running game going. You see 29 yards and, you know, it's almost like a replay. Carolina held this team to 30 yards rushing. The difference there was that Ty Detmer threw for over 300 yards. Second down and eight. Detmer to throw. Here's pressure, gets it off, wobbly. Waters has it, slips the tackle. It's going to be close to the first down. And Detmer gets lowered again. He takes a beating, though, doesn't he? Gets right back up. Well, he gets smacked a lot. And the one thing you got to like about this guy is every time somebody smacks him, he challenges him and kind of pats him on the tail. And, you know, we talked about the fire and the emotion. And right now, they're executing. But that fire and emotion just is not that evident right now for Philadelphia. And you keep getting your quarterback smacked around like that by Hanson, he's going to stuff the fire out of that guy. Buffalo, 41-yard line, first down. I'm not sure you can stuff the fire out of that one. They might separate a shoulder, but uh, the fires will burn. Here's Waters. Good defensive play, stopped to the 38-yard line. You know, we talked about earlier that they scored on the first possession of a football game. You know, six out of ten ga games now. One thing they also do well, too, and I'm sure, you know, Thurman Thomas and his entire Buffalo defense knows is that they score a lot on their first possession in the second half also coming out. They adjust very well. Second down and seven. Waters is the up back. Garner is the tailback. Thunder and lightning, they called them last year. Thunder and motion is lightning. He's got the speed on the corner. He is so quick. Has the corner, Waters with a block, 21-yard line. Matt Stevens finally gets it. Well, that's another case of, of, of really not bad blocking out here. You see Ricky Waters in motion. He's going to block. All the key blocks are going to happen here. But here's the big one, and that is speed. Watch what Garner does. The block set up. Guy McIntyre gets a real nice block right there. But, you know, Bruce Smith is trying to come in from the backside. And they can't get it. But the reason they got the corner, they got a little hold down there. And with the holding call, the ball goes back to the 47-yard line. The down goes over. The market second down and 17. Garner, a wide receiver. He's wide to the near side and single coverage on him. Matt Stevens has him. And the intended receiver, Waters, slip. Slips again. That's the third time so far earlier in the second half that uh, Ricky Waters has slipped out. So. That's at second base, too. Well, it's that, it's that dirt area. Yep. It's the only place you're going to get dirty, but evidently you're also going to get a little wet. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it, it becomes a factor later in the afternoon on these turf fields if they are wet. There's second base right there, the little mud around it. And mud on the you outside. You talk about water wet, on top. wet. Friday night, it rained. I mean, on Friday afternoon and Friday evening, it yeah. poured. And, and they don't cover these fields. Right so. Third down, 17. Deep over the middle, and it is caught and held. No, knocked away. It'll be incomplete. The rule is incomplete. It's going to be incomplete. Freddie Solomon. Had it, and the ball came out when he was hit. It was in his hands. It's going to be incomplete, yes. I mean, oh, Detmer, Detmer puts this thing in the perfect mm. space. You know, a receiver, even a rookie like Solomon knows, in this situation, that ball's coming in. He's got it. One, two. No, sorry. That was a catch, and it was out by contact with the ground. Wait, wait, hang on. I don't think he had possession of it. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's look, we we'll might look, look at, at it again. We'll look at it again after the punt. I don't think he ever pulled it in and had control of the football. First things first, here's Tom Hutton to get. And while 
Well, he's giving we'll let our viewers at home think about it, the call, whether it was or was not. This one's going to be straight up and straight down. The catch is caught. A winding Varagas at the 12-yard line by Jeff Burroughs. 35 yards on the kick back in a moment. You're convinced. We've looked yeah. at it. We both have disagreed. Just, just watch. Normal speed. Deep over the middle, and it is yeah, If anything, Charlie, even in slow, slow motion, if you look at it here in slow motion, I think he catches it, feet down, and then the ball comes loose. I, I think it was a catch and a fumble, but not an incompletion. I just thought he never had control of the ball. At any rate, Buffalo will go to work at their own 13-yard line. Bills leading the Eagles, 17 to 10. Looking for more mismatches. Thurman Thomas, the remaining back. Thomas gets the call to the outside. Heads the corner. And he'll go out of bounds around the 20-yard line. Jerry Ostrowski with a key block as he led him to the outside. The right guard for the bill. Only 41 yards thus far. Well, but if you add... You know, what he and Holmes did, especially in that second quarter, rushing the ball together, mm -hmm. that makes a huge difference. Second down and a couple. You may have it. Thurman Thomas again. Fourth player in NFL history to rush for 60 yards, uh, rush for 60 touchdowns, and also has, six, has 20 touchdown receptions. That's a 60 20 club, if I can get it out correctly. First down, 24 yard line. Changing the play. Kelly, good protection. Two receivers, same spot, intercepted. Eagles ball. Brian Dawkins, that is the third interception of the year for the rookie. Uh, I tell you, the catch is very nice. Jim Kelly throws this up in Andre Reed's general direction. But what you, what you got to watch is the tap dance. I mean, here is the composure from a young rookie. Catch, tap dance, one, two. Why in the world, though, do the Bills have two receivers in the same neighborhood? Why in the world do you throw interceptions? <laughs> Stuff happens. Look at the feet. One, two. Yes. Good that point. is a nice play by Dawkins. And that takes a little bit of the sting off the last possession for the Eagles. Remember, they were getting the matchup exactly the way they wanted in the first half by spreading out the defense. They're not spreading them out right now. Eagles go to work at their own 39-yard line. They come back with Charlie Garner. Garner with his speed flashes here at the beginning of the second half. Now he shows it again in their second possession, 49-yard line of Buffalo. Well, they're not trying to fool anybody for Buffalo. They'll come out in two tight ends, and they're just putting their green helmets on Buffalo's red helmets and saying, look, do what you want defensively. All we know is offensively, if we can't run the ball, we're in trouble against you guys. We're going to give it a go on the ground. 12 yards for Garner. He's now rushed for 37. He gets the call again. He comes prancing out. spotted at the 44-yard line, gain of five, second down five. And Garner is a good change of pace, but he's a good momentum back. He's a guy that can give an offense quick momentum because he gets yards so fast. Ricky Waters is the up back, and Charlie Garner is the tailback. And here is Garner again. Grinds his way to the 41-yard line. That's three on the play. It'll be third down. Still two to go. Mark Maddox makes the tackle. Garner 
had rushed for only 98 yards prior to this ball game. So the first nine games of the season only for 98 yards. If they hadn't been used that much, because as you mentioned earlier, Ricky Waters was running so well. Well, for Ray Rhodes, Ricky Ricky Rodgers is over 80 percent of the rushing game for the Eagles, but right now they went back to a conventional with a lead fullback in Turner. They're down and two. Knocked away. Dad Washington knocks it down. Second time in the ball game that he's done that. And from this field position, the Eagles will be punting. Absolutely. You punt this ball here, and the key is you want your punter, Hutton in this case, to try to get the ball out of bounds in inside the 10-yard line. I mean, hanging it is wonderful. Making a fair catch happen on the 10 would be nice if you could drop it there. But I always have to wonder why the old coffin corner out of bounds inside the 10 died. Here's Tom Hutt. He pushes this one high and short. Takes the Bills bounce. Will be touched at about the 26-yard line. Not a very good effort. Greeted by a round of boos from the fans here. Only 15 yards. Back in a moment. Have you ever wondered how they're made? What exactly goes in them? Well, I mean, a gourmet is delighted in Philadelphia. Charlie, this is why Philadelphia is such a great football town, because that's football food. That is. That is. Football food is food you wear. <laughs> food that you wear? Yeah. You're serving Thomas. He goes to about the, was it Derrick Holmes? No, it was Derrick Holmes, yes. As he is in replacing Thurman Thomas, he goes to the 33-yard line. I had a couple of those while I was in town, and you, you do wear them. You carry them with you for a long time, that's what you do. Here's Derrick Holmes, and this time he stopped back at the 31-yard line. Let's see what's going on in the ticker. Miami in front of, look at this. Oh, New England's closing on the Jets. Jets were up 21 7 at one time in the ball game. They've never made a lead safe from the Jets. Pittsburgh and Cincinnati time. Arizona Washington time. This is third down. The crowd getting back into this one. Houston comfortably in front of New Orleans in their ball game. Open Tampa Bay. They are time. St. Louis in front of Atlanta. Kelly throws, and this is going to be a first down. It's Tony Klein. He is the number two tight end. That is his 14th reception on the year. And he is wrapped up immediately by Ray Farmer and Troy Vincent. But Tony weighs in at 247, stands 6'4", played his Legion of Honor standard. He does pick up the first down. But just looking at Jim Kelly right now, this is a different quarterback than you've seen earlier in the season. Flags are down, a little early movement before the snap. But Jim Kelly, you can tell just by when you get a shot at his face. All star, 60. Offense, still first down. Jerry Ostrowski. You just take a look at Kelly. He looks like right now he's a quarterback. He looks like he's mm -hmm. leading. You know, he had a little confidence problem. We saw him in oh. New York. I think he had four touchdowns and 12 interceptions. And he looked like he was one bad game away from going into the restaurant business permanently. <laughs> I think you're right. But since then, he's really been playing well. Has he and Darabaugh? His pass is complete to Andre Reed. He leans across the 40 to the 41-yard line. That's eight yards on the play, so it's going to be second down and seven. He was full of confidence when we talked with him yesterday. Big smile. I, th I think, you know, the, the young daughter that he has, that's just turned a year and a half, has, has really helped his Alex. And she doesn't care whether daddy wins or loses. Doesn't well, know what a football game is. And daddy likes it when he's doing what he likes. And that's no huddle with these yeah. veteran players. You're right. He's yeah. a happier quarterback because he's doing what he wants. Yeah, he can control the show, and he likes that. Derek Holmes. Holmes to the 45-yard line. Already in this drive, Buffalo has converted once on third down. Now they face another opportunity. This will be third down and three. You know, Holmes was very excited last week about that game he had. He's going through a little deal with his brother back in California. Murder trial. Going to appeal it. Facing the death penalty. Brothers watching the telecast. Andre Reed and he where they mark it. It's going to be close to the first down. You may want to look at the change. They take the old eyeball measurement, and no, they'll call for the change. 
I do. Yeah. Right now, Charlie, this Buffalo offense is dictating to the Philadelphia defense. Oops, Kelly missed a block. Well, he's not supposed to make a block. He's just supposed to get in the way. That was mission accomplished because he just got in the way. See, you, if you're going to have to hit a linebacker, you put your arm out like that and you say, well, I almost had you. Let's run downfield and find a smaller one. And Andre Reed really stretching out at the end of the play to try and pick up the first down. And oh, they're going, they're going to get it by about four inches. And the difference has been since the second quarter in here, Marv Levy's offense on third down oh, is just executing to perfection. They are getting the third down and they're getting what they need. They are dictating to Philadelphia's offense and they're taking the sting out of Philadelphia's defense. Bill, 48 yard line, second time in this drive. Converting on third down. And popping through, Thurman Thomas comes back in. He is just a little quicker than Derrick Holmes. Hollis Thomas makes the tackle. And with his no huddle offense, even the officials have to hurry it up a bit as the ball is spotted at the Eagle 47 yard line. Second down and five. Not a whole lot there. Eagles come out with the ball. They're going to blow the ball dead at the 46-yard line. So Thurman Thomas will pick up one. It'll be third down and four. Well, that play there was basically made by Mike Mamula coming from the back side. You know, he's so quick at that defensive end that Jim Kelly in this offense doesn't account for him on that particular onside blocking play. But you better account for Mamula because he's probably faster than any defensive lineman. Take a look what's going on. Right now, the whistle's blown. And that's before Thurman Thomas was down. He definitely lost it, though, after the whistle was blown. That's right. Bishops has stopped the play at the 46. It's third down again. And we've got flags everywhere. Kelly sees the flags. And he's getting out of there. Well, he didn't see the flags. <laughs> he saw the green jerseys coming at him. <laughs> he was getting there, too. And his cadence right now is getting to the Eagles who are trying to be more, more aggressive in attack, and it's good psychological work by Kelly. Neutral zone infraction. Defense. That's going to be a first down. So they convert on the penalty. Third down and four. One more time. Here's the bark. There's one jump. Ooh, right in the There's middle. There's two Ooh. jumps. <laughs> you had your choice. Kevin Johnson, take him. You know he's across. And the penalties today, not that many. Not much of a factor penalty-wise, but you know, you've had that one big block kick, and you've had this no huddle offense in the running game of Buffalo since the middle of the second quarter. Take this football game over. First down, 41-yard line, Thurman Thomas. Flag is down from the far side. He slices through close to the 35-yard line. It's gonna be against Philadelphia. go against the Eagles. That'll be two in a row. Illegal hands to the face. Number 51. Defense. First down. That's on William Thomas. You saw the last graphic said four, three penalties. Now it's four. See that face on Ray Rhodes there a second ago? Four is too many. We said there weren't many. That's too many. As far as Ray Rhodes is concerned, his defense cannot afford to make yards for an offense that's making plenty all by themselves. And they currently made two first downs for them. This is the current drive, six plays, 39 yards on the drive. They can knock by four and a half minutes. Now they're bringing it back to the 31 yard line. That's where they'll spot it. They marked off 15, should have been 10. They corrected it, first down. You've got to attack this Jim Kelly offense. Don't let the no huddle keep you from doing it. Meanwhile, the Buffalo Bills continue to run down as they run here. They're running down the clock in the third quarter. Thurman Thomas stopped by James Willis. 3.17 and counting. Time remaining in the third. And an eagle is down. And that's James Willis. So we'll have an injury timeout. With the score... Buffalo 17, Philadelphia 10. 
American Express helps you do more by Liberty Mutual Insurance, helping people live safer, more secure lives. That's the freedom of liberty. By Priority Mail from the U.S. Postal Service. And by Jeep, makers of the new award-winning Jeep Grand Cherokee. Three minutes and five seconds, time remaining in the third, second down and eight for the Buffalo Bills at the Eagles 29-yard line. Kelly has pressure, spins away from a would-be sack, pump fake hit again, almost intercepted. A little bit of everything happened on that. Andre Reed was the intended receiver. Kelly barely avoided a sack. Well, Charlie, they're doing what they need to do on defense with Philadelphia. They're attacking with William Thomas. They're attacking with the rest of that defense. And honestly, Jim Kelly's doing what he says he can't do. He can't try to make something happen when there's nothing going on. He got away with an interception there. But this is his down, third down and eight. They've converted three times in the drive. They did it twice, and the penalty did it once. And that'll be another penalty. A little motion on the offense. Mm -hmm. Ball start, 79, offense. That's the left guard, Ruben Brown. So that third down conversion is going to be a bit tougher. It'll be third down and 13. And, and Marv Levy knows right now with that penalty, too, that really sets the defense of Emmett Thomas's up for the Philadelphia Eagles where they can just now attack. Ray Rose can bring those blitzes. You're right on the edge of the distance for Steve Christie in a field goal attempt. Here's the draw right side, Thurman Thomas. And he's got the first down down the sideline. The Bills do it again. Third down and 13. Wasn't that the conversion they had on their last first down on the last long drive? Absolutely. 24 yards on the play. And just a, a draw play here. Lonnie Johnson gets a block on Zordich. Actually, what Lonnie Johnson did was he basically tackled Zordich. Didn't get called for the hold. That enabled Thomas to bounce that ball outside. But... You know, the emotion, the attacking, it's on offense. Thurman Thomas from just outside the 10-yard line will go close to the 5. It's a first down, first and 10, because actually the Bills could pick up a first down without going into the end zone. But they started from about a foot outside of the 10-yard line. Now they're just outside of the 5. Second down. This no huddle has just been brutally methodic since the middle of the sec second quarter. Here's Thomas, a little stutter move, nothing there, good defensive play, and he has cut down the five-yard line, where it will be third down. Joe Kelly got it. Thurman Thomas carrying the load on this drive. Third down and five, that's the magic down. That Eagle defense has to stop Buffalo to a field goal here. Here's Derrick Holmes now. They have got to. A touchdown puts them down by 14, and that Buffalo defense will rip you up if they can come like that. Kelly throws, and it is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo, to Steve Tasker. No, it's not Tasker. It's Quinn Early. As he goes into the corner and has it. For Quinn Early, that is his second touchdown of the year. Well, they're running the ball, and when Jim Kelly needs to, he's executing the pass play. Put that right behind Troy Vincent. Talk about dropping it into a guy's back pocket. That's just what he does. Early knew it'd be shortened behind him. The extra point is up, and it is good. The Buffalo Bills continue to stretch their margin over the Philadelphia Eagles, 24 to 10. So I pull into this gas station. And the official with the touchdown reception, the extra point, and the Buffalo Bills lead by 14. As Steve Christie will kick off to Derek Witherspoon. Taken at the 10-yard line. Now out to the 20, the 25. Breaks the tackle, good return, ball comes loose. A scramble for it looks as if Philadelphia recovered their own fumble. I think when that pile was created, it knocked the ball back into the Philadelphia's hands. You're right. You are right. We've got a timeout. We'll step aside. We'll be back. Ty Dittmer and company on offense in a moment. Defensive line. Well, you know, he, he told us in New York a few weeks ago, if our defense, you know, we can get seven or ten points on somebody, my guys up front can attack. Well, 
He's not pacing for nothing. He's getting ready to do some stuffing and blitzing right here. Buffalo up by 14. Good for the throw. Good protection. Far side. Pass is complete. It's going to be for about 14 yards in the first down to Charlie Garner. New York and update Greg. All right, Charlie, in Cincinnati, Steelers had scored just before halftime. This is the ensuing kickoff, and David Dunn takes it his own 10 and goes 90 yards for the score. It's the first kickoff return of a touchdown for the Bengals since Stanford Jennings did it in Super Bowl 23. Bengals and the Steelers are tied at 17 in the third quarter, Charlie. Cincinnati Bengals, they've got a line, don't they? I've got a Super Bowl ring from that game. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so I didn't do the Bengals that much good. <laughs> but what about this? Ty Denver, a couple of quick plays. This one to Irving Fryer. And now they're into Buffalo territory, Bills. Well, the heat. 36 yard on gain of 18. Go the ahead. The heat's not coming, Charlie. And I think a big reason the heat's not coming on Detmer is one, the line's doing a pretty good job. But two, Bryce Pop is not in the ballgame. Bryce Pop is a big part of that pass rush. Meanwhile, it is the end of the third quarter with Buffalo on top 24 to 10. We'll return to Philadelphia after these messages and a word from your local station. Dateline something by quarters. Buffalo leading Philadelphia 24-10. Bryce Pop had some ice on his knee a moment ago. Currently is out of the ball game defensively for Buffalo. Ricky Waters on the carry as we go to New York for an update. All right, Charlie, at the Meadowlands, the Jets once owned a 21-0 lead. Forget all that now. Drew Bledsoe from 17 yards out to Ben Coates for the score. With the extra point, the Patriots and the Jets are now tied at 24 apiece early in the fourth quarter. Charlie? And some things never change. Well, they've obviously watched their scoreboard. See what Buffalo's doing here and knows they got know they have to win to keep pace with the Bills in the AFC East. They being, of course, New England. New England Buffalo coming into this ballgame, both tied at 6 3. Detmer's pass will be shot. Flag is down. Flag is down. Pass complete to Irving Fryer, David White with the tackle. About three yards shy of the first down, but we'll That'll pick be up the flag. Against the pass blocker. Hand in the face, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring this one back. Here's Johnny Greer. Illegal hands to the face. Number 76, offense. Barrett Brooks. Still second down. Left tackle. And you know, one of the things you really miss if you're Buffalo on defense, not having Bryce Pop in there to run at the outside linebacker position is a great setup guy on games and things. Little Ray Rhodes was talking about. So Bryce Pop sets up Bruce Smith and Chris Spielman and these guys better than anybody else on that defense. Philadelphia's been penalized 50 yards, Buffalo 35. Dittmer blitz coming from the outside. Dittmer gets the pass away to Kevin Turner. Matt Stevens with the hit. Matt Stevens needed a little help there on the big fullback. Mattis came in and cleaned him up, but uh, that was good film. Remember earlier, we were getting mismatches out of the Philadelphia offense. They were in three wides or two wides and a wide and a running back at wide receiver. They were getting the mismatches with the linebackers. Wade Phillips' defense has adjusted, and now they get Bryce Pop back. Third down and 15. That one under pressure throws, and it is caught. Yeah. Right at the 25-yard line. Now it's third and 15. This could be the first down. It is the first down. Well, he threw Under this, pressure, too. Oh, he throws this pass as he's about to be smacked. But look at the job oh. that Fryer did with his hands and his arms, getting him underneath the pass. Watch his hands. Watch his arms. It was a little off, but uh, here might be the reason it was just a little bit off. Chef coat right in his yeah. face. First down, 25 yard line. It's like a mugging when you run against that Buffalo Bill defense, isn't it? Well, especially Whoa. inside because, you know. Garner with the call. Inside is Big Ted oh. Washington. And that oh. nose guard, Ted Washington, number 92, 
can take up more bodies and do more things inside because you've got guys like him inside. I mean, look at the size of that guy. They list him at three and a quarter, and I think that's a very kindly guesstimate because those shoulder pads are made for a 325-pound guy, and those shoulder pads are too little on him. Three and a quarter is 325, and he's much more than that. You're right. I'll give it 10 seconds. Three steps. Timing pattern. Right on target. The ball comes out. Buffalo comes up with it. Calling it down. Bishop down by contact. Ball down by contact. Emmanuel Martin comes up with it, but... Well, check this out, Charlie. Stand I mean, for the Eagle. another job of Detmer throwing the ball on a quick slant pass there. Thomas Smith yanks that ball out of there. That's a little bit of a quick whistle or a quick down by contact. Then yard line, first down goal to go. But if you're Buffalo right here, Charlie, you keep track of Irving Fryer. You saw the current drive. Outside. Good defensive play as Ricky Waters is completely strung out for the Buffalo defense. Well, now he's getting fired up. Waters is, but for the wrong reasons. Not for big plays, but for maybe a play he didn't quite like because the defense strings it out. And when the defense strings it out, I don't care how big, strong, and or fast you are, you are outnumbered and outmanned. Mark Maddox followed by Emmanuel Martin. They make the play. That was all set up, though, on the outside by Sam Rogers. Did a nice job getting upfield and forcing that play underneath him. Second and goal, 10-yard line. Waters across in motion. Over the middle, pass is complete. You're right, Irving Fryer. 10 yards to Irving Fryer, his seventh touchdown of the year. He had three straight 100-yard games coming into this ball game. Coming in from the right, out of the slot. Again, lost track of Irving Fryer. But what a matchup that is. Remember we talked matchups? Sam Rogers, an outside linebacker, working against Irving Fryer, a wide receiver. In some states, there's laws against that kind of stealing. And here is the extra point attempt. Fryer in this ball game thus far, 46 yards receiving. The extra point is good. 24-17 in the reaction of Ty Detmer, the leader of the Eagles. EC is brought to you by MetLife. Get Met. It pays. By Nike. And by Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? Jim Kelly, he's getting ready. The Eagles to kick off to the Buffalo Bills. The Eagles have had problems covering their kickoff. They need a hang time of four seconds. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. They don't get it. They set up the return. To the far side is Eric Moles. Slips the tackle. Now he's in trouble. They're pretty good coverage, but they're not getting the hang time that they wanted. Don Griffin of the Eagles makes the play. What a great game we have going here. And next Sunday, NBC Sports presents more exciting NFL action at the special time of 12 noon Eastern time with the NFL on NBC. Most of you to see Drew Bledsoe and the Patriots, host John Elway and the Broncos. That'll be a good one. Some to see the Lions square off against the Seahawks. Others to see the Steelers host the Jaguars. Bengals battle the Bills. In the second half of the doubleheader, we got a hurry or the Bills will get to the line of scrimmage. Most of you to see Jerry Rice and the 49ers host the Ravens. Others, Dan Marino and the Dolphins battle the orders. Check your local listings. NFL on NBC next Sunday starting at 12 noon Eastern time. We did it. Here's the play. That's Thurman Thomas. Listen to this crowd. Well, that's exactly what the Philadelphia defense needed to do right here. They needed not to have a big return against them to give them bad field position. And I don't care. Huddle, no huddle. If they're coming off the sidelines or out of the tunnels, this Philadelphia defense has got to attack and change the momentum on this offensive Buffalo. Second down and 12. Thurman Thomas has rushed for 84 yards. Here's the reverse. To Andre Reed. Reed around the corner. Up the sideline and well pick up the first down. Andre Reed attended Kutztown University, not too far from here. And then that was a great call by Jim Kelly in the Buffalo offense, bringing that 
that reversing. Talk about taking a little fire out of the crowd and the defense. You got it off a defense that's attacking you. What do you do? A little misdirection in reverse takes some of the sting out of the D. 33-yard line. Bills in their own territory. First down. Just over nine minutes remaining in the ball game. And here's Thurman Thomas. And this is a straight shot to the 39. A gain of six. Second down for Joe Kelly. No relation to Jim. Makes the tackle. And Thurman limps off. Derek Holmes comes in. Well, the bad news is Thurman's out and he's limping, but the good news for the Bills is Derek Holmes is in. He's a stronger, more powerful runner. And he's fresh. And he gets the call and he's stuck. Oh, he got a face full of Michael Zordich on that one. Good defensive play by Zordich. I mean, that was just good, aggressive play by the Philadelphia Eagles. Safety filling up and just smacking 44 between the fours. But it's third down. Third down and four. Bills have converted their last nine third down opportunities. They were one for three in the first quarter and perfect since then. Here's a blitz coming and it is incomplete. Oh, William Thomas was coming clean after Keller. Well, unlike last couple possessions, the Eagles didn't look confused and didn't stop attacking. They're bringing William Thomas off the corner. They're steaming him into Jim Kelly's face. And they make that throw just a little bit off. And Thomas wisely doesn't finish off that blitz too aggressively. Chris Moore will be putting. Mark Say is the return man. Here's a look at Say. Oh, this is a good one. This really hangs up. Coverage is there. Say has it to 23, and he can drop it to 25. That's hang time. That's what you want. Marlowe Perry was down covering for Buffalo. 8.02 time remaining in the game. Buffalo leads 24-17. Randy Cross in Philadelphia. The Buffalo Bills leading the Philadelphia Eagles 24-17. Eight minutes and two seconds time remaining in the game. The Eagles with the ball just shy of their own 25-yard line. Last time they had it, Ty Detmer has been 67 yards in nine plays and a touchdown. Deep over the middle and it is incomplete. He goes to... Christopher Todd Jones, it's incomplete. New York and an update. Greg. All right, Charlie. Steelers and the Bengals in Cincinnati. The pitch to Eric Bieniemy. Look at number 71, Willie Anderson, and watch his block. That's clearing the way for a 33-yard touchdown with the extra point. The Bengals giving the Steelers all they can handle today. 24, 24, just over three minutes to play. Third quarter, Charlie. I'm just shaking my head. I'm really surprised at the turnaround that they have made under Bruce Gossett. Dittmer, little timing pattern, trying to wait for his end to break behind the man covering. He goes to his tight end, Jimmy Johnson, just overthrows him. It'll be third and ten. It's all just a little bit off. This second half, they've come out in two tight ends. or just a conventional split backfield. That's what they're here. The last two passes have just been fractions off by Detmer. But the key point is, guys, they've been off. Third and long, three of 17. And this is third and long, third and 10. Here comes the blitz. Bruce Smith offside. Flag is down, free play, and now Ty is down. And that was Jim Jeff Cote, who has a sack. This one won't count. Bruce Smith was about a half a step away from being unabated. <laughs> and that's really illegal. <laughs> oh, you don't, want him, you don't want him coming free. 78 defense. Third down. It'll be third down and five. A little bit more manageable on a third down opportunity. If you're an offensive coach right here, you almost have to think six yards because that first down marker is on about the 34 and a half yard line. So you got to get to that 35 yard line if you're Ray Rhodes' offense right here. You've gotten the mismatches in the past with running backs at wide receiver, and you got Garner at the bottom of the screen at wide receiver. Everything up. I'm okay. <laughs> Ready to go. <laughs> this is crowd. Look at the crowd. They're all followers. as they point to the end zone. Well, they love a tough guy here in Philadelphia, but I tell you, Matt Stevens is a pretty good tough guy, too, because 
He puts a molar rattler on Irving right here. Irvin Fryer meet Mr. Stevens, the rookie out of Appalachian State. And Fryer's doing that more to say he didn't hurt than to say that didn't hurt. Well, he talked about it, yep, he didn't have that much to say. Here's the handoff to Charlie Garner. He'll pick up, oh, maybe six, possibly seven yards. And this sets up John Gruden, the coordinator, Charlie, into more of these play calling situations he had in the first half. And less of the second and ten and second and long that, you know, Ricky Waters in the offense and Charlie Garner in the offense have gotten into today. 42-yard line, second down and three. Six and a half minutes left in the ball game. Charlie Garner with the speed and the quickness close to the 50, close to the 45-yard line. Mark Maddox with the tack along with David White. Third down and one. A moment ago, the Eagles converted on third and five. And now it's third and short. Very interesting. You got Ricky Waters and Charlie Garner into the game again. And third and short. If one of them's a blocker, it's definitely Waters, not Garner. Flyers wide to the far side. What about a play action fake? Can he go deep? No. Oh, Garner is stuffed Ted right in the Wash 45. Charlie Ted Washington, the nose guard, treats Charlie Garner like a small running back. And he is a small running back. I mean, he's just a, he's just a little tasty morsel compared to Ted Washington. He may have a measurement. Yeah. They're Look looking. at this. Your application has been rejected. <laughs> <laughs> He just had to get just barely past that line to it, get that first down, and it's short. They don't get it's it. Be they, don't get it. they mark it fourth down in inches. You go for it here. Quarterback sneak. Well, you better triple team Ted Washington. He'll stuff your center back into his lap. They get it in just barely. It's Ricky Waters. Yeah, that's a Ricky Waters first down. Yeah. Ricky Waters got that first down on the emotion you see there and the natural ability the good Lord gave him because he didn't get much help in the way of blocking. That's right. Joe Panos barely gets a pad on Bryce Pop. Spielman, he won't let Spielman tackle him and Maddox just manages to stop him for a couple yard gain. Ricky Waters told us yesterday, I want to prove that there's nothing that I cannot do on a football field. Well, you know, Charlie, it's interesting. 22nd first down for Philadelphia just now, and they're down 24-17. And it's a first down at the 47-yard line. Deep over the middle, Irving Fryer, first down. Inside the 40, Chris Spielman with the tackle, along with Ken Irvin. Well, you know, what Buffalo's doing is now they're trying to create something. They're bringing blitzes, but what are they doing to counter it? They're crisscrossing the receivers and looking for little love. You don't have to pick a guy as a receiver yourself. Sometimes you can get the guy that's trying to cover you to pick the guy on the other side. And look what Fryer's doing right now, 14 yards from another 100-yard receiving day. First down, 38-yard line. Little play action fake. Deep over the middle, and it's dropped. Ricky Waters right in his hand and he dropped it, and he was all alone. Relatively speaking, he had a couple of steps well, on he, a defender. He was trying to decide where exactly in the end zone where it says Eagles he was going to run to. Look at the hands. He's got, I can't believe it. That's when you look down like the kid that, that you, know, you look down as a kid when you miss the ball like that, you look, what do you do to me? Look at your hands and go, how can you do that? Hands. Look with the ball. The ball gets to him, and the hands never get to the ball. Hands, you let me down. He was going to score, and he didn't catch it. Second down and 10. Under pressure on target again. Detmer not only is accurate, and he is tough. He's taking a beating. He goes to Jimmy Johnson, his third tight end, David White, with the tackle, and the Eagles are underway again. Well, you know, it's hard to define what it is that, you know, a quarterback that you always talk about has. And I guess you gotta say it, you know, because he doesn't have the size. He gets beat around like a little guy because he is a little guy, but, you know, whatever it is, I played with a guy, Joe Montana, that had 
55 gallon drums of it. Uh, I don't. I can't compare these two quarterbacks because I don't think Detmer's close yet. But he's got a couple buckets of it. Ricky Waters said he reminds him of Joe Money as he called him. End zone. Is it intercepted? No. Close to the interception. Whoa. And, and Jeff Burroughs almost picked it off. That's an example of what you get when you get a quarterback that's got it. Because when a quarterback feels it and thinks he has it, he sometimes is willing to force it and put it where it doesn't belong because he has so much faith that he can get the ball there and his guy can come up with the catch. And he's lucky he didn't get an interception there. But that's one of the joys the Eagles and the Eagles fans have of having Detmer at quarterback. They will never... As long as this young man is playing, putting those kind of numbers up on a drive be a boring moment. Second and 10, 21 yard line. Here's the draw. Waters holds on to it as he takes the handoff inside of the 15 to the 14 yard line. Matt Stevens with the tackle. Yeah, we always talk about rhythm and, and being able to be cohesive and playing together. Well, the rhythm between this offense and their quarterback, Detmer, and their running back, Ricky Waters, and their offensive coordinator, John Gruden, upstairs. The rhythm is back between that, those groups. And there they are, third down and three, 14 yard line. John Gruden right there. Whoops. <laughs> well, that was John Gruden with a little white thing on his hat. Formerly, he, formerly he, John Gruden. He's got it going on. Waters outside, comes back in across the 10 yard line. He has the first down. It's going to be first down and goal to go. Listen to this crowd as they take us to the two minute warning with the Eagles on the move about to land again. We'll be back in a moment. This is Ford Escort. The crowd here in Philadelphia. It reflects the Eagles attitude. They want to get it high. They got one. They're going for two. <laughs> they have a T-Y. They want a T-I-E. First down goal to go is Waters, nine yard line. Ted Washington off that nose guard position again. Put that hit on Ricky Waters. I mean, th this is just some big, pl big time play by Ted Washington. He's been doing it all year. He deserves the recognition that the postseason brings. When you're on a good defense, it happens. But you know, you split a double team like that, that's a man-sized play. Nine yard line, second down goal to go. And he's man-sized. 6'4", 250 rooming. And still growing. The four receivers in the pattern, now five in zone, knocked away at the last moment. Matt, Guess what, Matt Stevens. Oh, he's had a ball game. He's played well. Matt Stevens didn't do it with the big hit this time. He does it with his feet and his hands. Detmer's going for the big one right here, going for six. He's got the ball led just perfectly, and look at the dive at the last minute and the reach out with that right hand. He's such a quiet kid when we talked to him yesterday. Yeah. And he got, I said, was this the first time uh, you've had a pre-game interview with one of the Nevers? Oh, yeah, that's the first time. Ever. Always, always be careful of the quiet ones. Oh, <laughs> that's a good point. That leaves announcers out, of course. Third down, goal to go. Dittmer to throw, pressure, steps away, it is caught, down, four-yard line, Irving Fryer. Manuel Martin brings him down at the four. It will be fourth down and goal to go with the game on the line right here. Mark Say will come in. Kevin Turner comes out. Another wide receiver in the set, they spotted at the three. Fourth and three, Charlie, on the three. I mean, your weapons are the mismatches. If you can get Fryer in that mismatch, you had him out of the slot earlier. If you can get Ricky Waters in a mismatch earlier. Physically, they don't match up. Physically, it shouldn't be a factor. Meanwhile, the Eagles want to run some time off of the clock. They take it down to 32, and they call for a timeout. 32 seconds left, fourth and goal. Uh, fourth down, goal to go. 32 seconds left to go in the ball game. Buffalo Charlie, six defensive backs. We'll count Pop as a defensive lineman, so it's six defensive backs, four linemen, one linebacker. They should run on them. Detmer looks, looks, has pressure, he's sacked. Ball comes out. And he is down at that point. Bruce Smith finishes off a good day 
with the big play of the day. Wow. That played, that played right into their hands. Six defensive backs, one linebacker. They're covered. So's Detmer. What a piece of that championship. Play. Saluting coaches on the field and in the classroom. Staples the offense. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six defensive backs, one linebacker, and this is why there was nothing downfield. Look at the coverage downfield. Detmer's got nowhere to go. A good guess by Wade Phillips. He gives them a defense you should run against, but he knows they're going to pass. I mean, it's a chess game, and that's checkmate by Bruce Smith and Wade Phillips. And Buffalo will now just down the ball. Eagles will stop the clock. They'll use up their last timeout. Well, Buffalo, Buffalo improves to seven and three. Charlie, they they did what they needed to do today. And with four and a half minutes to go in New York, New England leading the Jets, 31 to 27. If they hold, then they're still tied. Let's go to New York and Greg. All right, Charlie, at the Meadowlands, Drew Bledsoe from two yards out, the fake into the line finds Keith Byers at the end of the end zone to give New England a 31-27 lead. But the Jets are threatening inside the Patriot 30 in the final minute of the game, Charlie. All right, don't go away, Greg. Not today. This has been a, this has been one of those great days in the National Football League. We've had a tremendous ball game here. A lot of other good ones going on around the country. I well, remember what I said at the beginning of the game, Charlie. The old Warriors that just want one more shot at it. Evander Holyfield got his last shot last night, or one shot, took advantage of it, and TKO Tyson and. They're a long way away from their shot. I mean, their shots in late January. They've had four of their shots at that ring, by the way, and haven't gotten it, but they just want one more shot. And Bruce Smith, the 12-year veteran on a fourth down and goal, is the man who sacked Ty Detmer. And uh, he put him away. You could call it a small TKO, but that in reality was the end of the ball game. The Buffalo Bills coming from behind. They trailed early in the ball game, 7-0. They struggled throughout most of the first quarter. And then they really turned it around. The Eagles, though, led by their quarterback, Ty Detmer. Uh, they're never out of the ball game, and he really makes it exciting. He's one of the good ones. Right. Maybe to be one of the great ones. Uh, he's got a great opportunity, but, you know, on that last critical play, to be honest with you, it was a great call by Wade Phillips working against the offense of Philly. Bruce had a nice job of rushing, but that was set up by the coverage downfield. All right, the play of the game. The Buffalo Bills defeating the Philadelphia Eagles 24 to 17 as we step aside here. Greg Gumbel is going to join you in a moment from New York and update all of the excitement in the National Football League. 